everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. I'm so glad you're joining me. Well, today I get to share with you the Simon Says Stamp Card Kit for March 2023. It's so fun. It's called Mix and Match Butterflies. I took it out of my box and out of the bag. It's under here. And we're going to take a look at what's in the kit. And then we're going to create a couple of cards using it. So starting off, let's start with the cardstock. I think you guys are going to love this kit. I say that every time. Oh, you know what? Before I jump in and get started, I do want to mention a few things about the Simon Says Stamp card kit. Um, there's a few perks if you sign up for the subscription. Um, you get $5 off the retail price of it. So that's a nice little discount. Um, Simon Says Stamp actually has a video, and I'll link it down below if you want to head on over and check it out. The nice thing about the Simon Says Stamp kits is... You can skip a kit if you want. So if you don't like this kit and you sign up for the subscription, the subscription guarantees your kit, which is really nice because, you know, sometimes they can sell out really fast. But um, you can skip a subscription, which is nice. So if you don't like this kit, you just go to the website, um, follow the prompts, and then you can manage your subscription and skip it. If you don't like next month, you can do the same thing. So there's an option there, which is nice. It's not, um, you don't have to cancel the subscription if you don't like this kit and then re-sign up. There's more perks. So again, I'll leave that video. Simon explains it a lot better than I do. <laughs> and I'll leave that video link down below if you guys want to know more about the perks that go along with the subscription service. Okay. So we're going to start with our cardstock. This month, we get one sheet of Simon Says Stamp Matte Gold cardstock. Die cuts beautifully. The backside's white. It's 90 pound weight, which is nice and heavy duty. You also get three sheets of colored cardstock. All of these are 8.5 by 11. And this is green leaf. You have soft navy. And this is ivory. All of these are 100 pound weight. So make great card bases also. Okay, also included, let's check out our mix and match stamp set. This is a 6 by 8 stamp set with large butterflies, which will make great focal points. But you'll notice the bodies are separate. Only one body, I guess. One body for all these three butterflies. And you get some floral accents, which are nice. And the greetings are so much fun because there's block letters. There are sub-sentiments that I think they would go great on the inside of your card. And there's also some scripty um, greetings. The nice thing about the stamp set is there is a coordinating die set um, that will cut out one of the butterflies. We get three butterflies in here. Our die set that comes with the kit will cut out this butterfly here. The nice thing is, is it's two pieces. I separated my dies already. Yours will come in one piece. You'll have to use your nippers to separate them. But you see it cuts out the top and the bottom of the butterfly. It also cuts out this piece. This is a layering piece for that butterfly. It, um, you can see that it will, this piece coordinates with this one and this one. And then it also has the floral. Not this one, but it'll cut out that flower. But this flower here, you can see matches this flower in here and this flower in here. And so you have lots of layers that go with the butterfly. There's a heart that it will cut out. There's also the butterfly body. The butterfly body you can cut out for both of these butterflies, of course. But those are all the dies that are included in the kit this month. And again, I love the layering elements. These two, this you could probably get away with this being a leaf too, to go with these larger flowers. But it is, um, this one and this one are layerable on the inside of this butterfly. Love that. You get two action wobbles to make your butterfly have a little kinetic motion. That's always nice. You also get a full container, 60 milliliters of Simon's Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. I like Simon's glue. It is, you have to remove the seal here, but it's a thicker glue. I, I use the Barely Art Glitter Glue and sometimes it takes a little bit of time to dry. This one does have a fine tip, not as fine as the Barely Art, but it, the nice thing is it's thicker. It's a lot thicker than the glue, so nice little craft stash. Oops. Now I'm excited, you get a jar here, and all of these are gems. I'm gonna take them out so you can see. I'm gonna grab some cardstock. 
These are a variety of colors. Look how pretty. These are cool tones, but these are Simon Says Stamp Dazzling Gems. And you get a nice container filled with all these dazzling gems in different sizes. And I love the colors, and the colors actually coordinate beautifully with the pattern papers in the kit this month. These pattern papers are beautiful. How many do you get in total? You get, these are from Crafter's Companion. This is called Kingfisher 6x6 six six pattern papers. They are double sided. We flip them around. He has some really interesting prints in here. Some of them are really small. Like this one has hummingbirds in it and flowers. This one has a little um, water lilies and hummingbirds. Actually, I think they all may have hummingbirds. Look how pretty. They all have hummingbirds on it, which is really nice. So, beautiful prints with a more subtle background. Without the hummingbirds, it would go great for butterfly backgrounds. And you get all of these. I'm not going to count them, but you get a lot. <laughs> also included are, we have, let's see, these are, it looks like transparency things. Um, these are transparencies. And it looks like some of them are vellum and some of them are clear. The last few cards I created were kind of vintage feel to them, but I think for this kit, I'm going to just probably skip over these transparencies and create, um, let me show you. So you can kind of see through them. They're really pretty, actually. It's like um, acetate over vellum is how I can explain it. They have a shiny finish to them. But these have a vintage feel to them. But I think I'm going to go straight with the butterfly stamp set this month. And skip the vintage feel. But these are really pretty for layering. And I didn't go through all of them, but they're really nice. You get a whole pack of these. These are the Tim Holtz Ideology Transparent Things too. So I guess there may be a transparency uh, one. Okay, that's included. Also included is this seven and a quarter by nine and a half inch storage envelope. These are from Simon. They are reinforced really nicely. These are great for your stamp set. Let me show you. You can also store your dies in there together. Let me put them all in there. But these are nice little storage envelopes. There's a little flap here, and there's a slit in the envelope that you would put this flap in to help seal it shut. Simon so has smaller sizes of these too, which are really nice. So you get your storage envelope, and last but not least, you will also get a lovely embossing folder. This is the Dibble Tile. I really like this. I love the circles on here. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe in the the back you can see it. So you get an embossing folder also along with everything else and then of course your little sweet treat limeade that goes to my daughter <laughs> and that's everything in the kit. I'm going to put everything to the side and then we are going to probably do a little bit of Copic coloring and create a couple of cards using our stamp set and some cardstock and I will be right back. I went ahead and trimmed down all of my cardstock into A2 panels. I thought we'd use all the colors today. I'm not going to use the pattern papers today or the ephemera that came with the kit. Maybe just the stamp set, the embossing folder, and the cardstock, and a few of the embellishments with the gems that came in our kit this month. We're going to go a different route other than vintage. I thought it would be, um, we're going to use each one of the butterflies here. Okay, let's take a piece of the ivory card stock. I'm going to place it in my stamping positioner and then we're going to stamp for our first card. Let's, let's use the wobbled for our card today and I think this butterfly will work perfect for that. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. 
we'll just take it out here. And on our stamp set, I really like the spacing of our butterfly. So what I'm going to do is place it underneath. Let's see. I'm going to place it underneath my the lid of my stamping positioner. And then I'm just going to lay it. I'm going to position them just like it is on my stamp set. This is just a nice little guide to have them exactly spaced like, um, like it is on our stamp set. And then we are also going to need the body of our butterfly. And I'm going to place this here. Rather than using black ink, I'm going to heat emboss with gold embossing powder. So I'm going to treat my paper with my anti-static powder tool. And I'm going to ink up our butterfly with a Versamark ink. Press down real good. I'm going to, my Versamark ink is drying out, so I am going to ink this up twice. Okay, I'm going to take my panel and my gold embossing powder, this over here, I'm going to save the top half for our next card. I'm going to go ahead and use my heat gun and we'll melt it. Okay, and actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go ahead and do all of our stamping at once. So, I'm going to bring back my stamping positioner. And I'm going to put this back in here. And we're going to stamp the rest of our butterflies. Okay, so both, I want to keep my stamping positioner out because we may need to stamp our greeting. So these are all the images that we're going to use on our cards today. Now today I'm going to skip the coloring, but I will show you the Copic markers that I'm going to be using to color in my images. These are the colors I'm going to be using today. And basically I'm going to use all the colors on all three butterflies and then the flowers um, also. Okay, I'm going to color them in and then I'll use the coordinating dies to cut out my images and the images that don't have coordinating dies, I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut out. I will be right back. I have everything die cut out and actually this was fussy cut out and I didn't bother bringing them into two pieces, I wanted one piece. So I just left a little bit of a border. And then these pieces, this is the same, so I use the same die for these leaves. You can see how they look like leaves, but these have dies. This has um, coordinating die, and then the body, of course, have the coordinating dies. We're going to go ahead. I put foam tape behind here already. What I'm going to do is layer. Should we? Yeah, we'll layer first these little accent pieces on the wings of our butterfly. Just tack these down. And then I'm not going to, I'll put this together when we put it on our card. For this butterfly, um, I'm going to start by adhering with some glue behind the base of our butterfly body. And this butterfly body, I'm going to raise a little bit higher. It looks kind of funny. Let me show you. I want it a little bit higher than in the middle because I want to fill in the middle of this butterfly with flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little glue to the... Actually, let's pop these up too. I'm using black foam squares today because um, I actually don't use black foam squares very often. So we're just going to use them up. Okay, let's fill in this butterfly body with these flowers right in the center 
and then I'm going to use these as um, these wing pieces as leaves. Since I colored them green, I think it would go really good. Kind of do a little rearranging. But you see how I wanted the butterfly body to peek out at the top a little bit. So that's that butterfly is good to go. And for this butterfly, I just put a thin strip of foam tape behind the body. And we're going to, this is going to be for the wobble. We're going to go ahead and place this right in the center. And our butterflies are, are all done. Okay, let's start with our first card. We're going to do some embossing with our embossing folder. Let's go ahead and put these off to the side. For my first card, I'm going to take some of our gold cardstock, and then I'm using our embossing folder that came in the kit. I'm going to emboss this panel here. I'm just going to add this. I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. Okay. Isn't that such a pretty pattern? So pretty. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and we're going to trim this down. Let's see. I'm going to trim it down to... We're going to go three and a half inches by four and three quarters. Keep, I'm going to keep these pieces because we're going to use this on our next card. Okay, we'll put these aside and we have our background. I'm going to take one of my A2 panels with the ivory cardstock. Now I have two panels left and I'm going to use, use those for our next projects. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to cover my card base with it just using my tape runner. Once we have our ivory paper adhered, I'm going to go ahead and adhere our embossed gold cardstock right down the center. After this is adhered, I have two squares that I created with our, our green and our blue cardstock. We're going to layer these together. I'm going to take this panel and I'm going to add some foam tape behind here. Of course, I like a lot of dimension on my cards. If you don't like very much dimension, um, you can skip adding foam tape here. I'm going to... Okay, let's add this. Add a, this instead of going this way, we're going to go at a diamond. I'm going to place it right in the middle here. And then I'm going to take my butterfly. I'm going to use glue since we already have some dimension here. And we're going to tack this down right in the middle of our card. I have a little piece left over from when I fussy cut out my butterflies. I'm going to stamp thinking of you just with my black ink. And then I'm going to block this off and pop it up with some foam tape. Okay, lastly, we're going to bring in our gems. And I'm going to add a little bit of bling to the center of these flowers. In the gems, there's teal, there's blue, there's green, and then there's like a, a rosy pink. I'm not going to use the rosy pink. I'm just going to use the blue, the green, and the teal. Okay. I'll put these to the side, and that will finish that card. Okay, for my next card, I have the same three pieces of cardstock. And what we did was they're two and a half inches wide, each of them. And then this one, let me get my ruler. This one is um, three and three quarter inches long. 
the white one, the ivory one, is four and a quarter, and then the green one is five inches long. We're gonna, what we're going to do is layer all of these together, but before we do that, I do want to stamp my greeting at the very bottom. So I'm going to bring back my stamping positioner, and we're going to heat emboss um, with white embossing powder the greening at the very bottom. I'll just ink this up. I'm bring back my white embossing powder here. I'm gonna go over it. And I'll melt it. Okay, I'm going to layer all three of these together, and we're just going to use the tape runner, layering them from the very top. I'm going to go ahead and bring in some white twine. I'm going to wrap it around a few times. This is Spellbinder's hemp cord. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm going to use my corner rounder and round off the bottom corners of this piece here. So I went ahead and rounded the corners at the very bottom, and I ended up pushing up the twine all the way up just underneath my grating, and then I put foam tape behind here. Before we adhere this to this, I'm going to tack this down to the front of my card base. We'll just tack that down. And now we can add our butterfly. Let's see. For this butterfly, I'm going to get as close as I can so I don't obstruct the sentiment. So let's add some adhesive behind here. And then I'm going to bring back our gems. And I'm going to add some, some gems to the center of the flowers and then into some of the areas on our butterfly. Let's see that we can... We're going to add some flower centers and then some gems to our butterfly wings. Lovely. Okay, let's put these back. Okay. Kind of fluff up my wings a little bit and then that will finish off my second card. For my next card, I mentioned the wobbles. We're going to use them. So I have a panel of our green card stock. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the front of my card base. I'm going to have a green background. Okay, and then I have, I mentioned, this is the leftover from our very first card. What we're going to do, this, this strip here is three and a half inches wide. So I'm going to bring back my paper trimmer and trim this piece to three and a half inches wide. Okay, so we have two of these. And then I cut two of our ivory card stock um, the same length. So three and a half inches wide by three quarter inches tall. And the same thing with our blue card stock. What we're going to do is create a background using this. But I want this one to stamp my greeting on. So let's start with the blue. We'll go ivory. And then we'll go our gold. And then, well, maybe gold on the bottom. Gold, blue, okay, here, this is what we'll do. I'm kind of going to create a pattern here, but I want 
this ivory piece to be a place where I'm going to put my greeting. And the cardstock that I'm using, I didn't even take the measurements because it's basically just a backing for my strips. Okay, so I'm going to start. I'm going to start with my gold. I'm going to add some adhesive and place it at the very bottom. Okay, so we have a background. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting. I'm going to bring in my stamping positioner. For this card, I'm going to use the greeting that says, just saying hi. I'm going to stamp it almost all the way to the right. Okay, I'll use my black ink. Go ahead and ink this up. I love these colors together. I love when Simon coordinates colors for you. <laughs> I'm going to flip this around. Versamark takes a, or Versafine takes a little bit of time to dry. Okay, after we have this adhered and we have a little bit of dimension, I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my wobbles. Oops. I'm going to flip over my butterfly and we're going to remove the release paper. Better bring my craft pick here. Okay. That's nice. This first, when you remove the release paper off of the very bottom, it's clear. Well, that's really nice. Okay, and then I'm going to tack this down behind my butterfly. One thing to note, it looks a little bulky, but believe it or not, when you press it down, it's flatter than my foam tape. So it's going to mail beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper off of this. Okay, and then I haven't used a wobble in so long. How nice is this? I'm going to fluff up the wings and I'm going to add this. Let's see, kind of at an angle here. Okay, and I just love that. I love the way it wobbles. And again, it will lay really flat when you mail it, which is really nice. Let's bring back our jewels. Let's add a few. I'm not going to add any to the butterfly. I'm going to add a few around the butterfly this time. Okay, and then that will finish off card number three. Now we're going to take a look at all three cards that we made today with the Simon Says Stamp March 2023 card kit. It's called Mix and Match Butterflies. Hope we get a chance to check it out. And check out that link down below that I left with all the perks with um, a card kit subscription. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.